What's going on YouTube is Gadgets Boy, welcome to another video. And in front of me is a brand new Google Pixel 4, literally just announced a couple of hours ago, if less than an hour ago maybe. Uh, but yeah, we've got the box here from Team Pixel and we're gonna see what's inside and tell you more about the little specifications here and there of what's new on the new Google Pixel 4 and the Google Pixel 4 XL. Let's have a look in the box and get on with it. So here we are, we have the Pixel 4 on the left and the Pixel 4 XL on the right side. With the XL obviously being the larger version with 6.3 inch of display, it also has QHD Plus flexible OLED at 537 PPI. And the Pixel 4, the standard version, is uh, Full HD Plus uh, flexible OLED at 444 PPI there as well. And both have 19 by 9 aspect ratios and you have the ambient EQ as well. You have always on display and so many other things as well, which I'll go through just in a second. And I'm also digging this new orange color, which looks really nice, as you can see there. Look at that, looks absolutely gorgeous. It also looks nice in white as well, as you can see there. So again, you get that button on the side with different colors. Uh, underneath it, just about, you can see you have your volume rocker there. And on this side, you have your SIM card tray on there. And it feels really nice and soft on the edges, which is really cool. And on the bottom, we have uh, USB-C ports and the speaker grill as well. And on the back, the cameras look, the camera array looks very identical as you can see there. So there's no uh, extra sort of differences there at all. Uh, you have a standard wide angle lens and a telephoto lens and flash there as well in the center right at the top there. Uh, let's just fully power this on and uh, set this up as well. So as you can see on the display, it's very vibrant and bright as well. So in the display settings, there are a couple of things you might wanna to do to adjust to your preferences as well. So you got a dark theme, which you can uh, flick on and off, which sets the whole device to the dark theme mode. If we turn that off for the sake of this video, you got adaptive brightness as well, which means it adapts to your environment, good for your eyes, for example. If you go to advanced, uh, if we scroll down here, you got screen attention, which you can use uh, to keep the screen on as long as you're using it. Timeout settings as well. And then you got adaptive brightness here, which uh, I explained already. And then your ambient HQ, which is also cool as well. So this can dynamically adjust based on your surrounding lights and environment. And then you got color settings as well, which I've uh, adjust it to boost it. If I'm editing a photo, for example, I'll probably put on natural or adaptive uh, just to go with that. So this is also offers you a 90 Hertz display, which is dynamic based on what you're doing. So if you're gaming, for example, you get the full experience. And if you're not doing anything that's graphically int intensive, uh, you will need to do, uh, the system won't adjust to that sort of stuff. In terms of battery, the Pixel 4 comes with 2,800 milliamp hour battery and the Pixel 4 XL comes with 3,700 milliamp hour battery and they both support 18 watt fast charge as well. And you've also got wireless charging so you can use it on a Qi wireless charging plate if you wish to do so. In terms of storage, they have six gig of RAM and you've got, you've got an option for 64 gig of internal storage or 128 gig of internal storage. I believe the, uh, 60, the 128 gig is only available in black and the clearly white only ends what I've got clearly white on the right side with 128 gig of storage there. And the orange one has 64 gig of storage. In terms of processor, they're both running Qualcomm Snapdragon 855. Adreno 640 GPU, you got Titan M security module in there and you got that Pixel Neural Core, which is useful for that camera module in there for all the software trickery that goes on with AI and so on. For camera, you have two new cameras on here. So you got 16 megapixel main camera and a 12.2 secondary camera. The secondary camera is a telephoto lens, so you can do two times optical zoom and then you got up to eight times hybrid zoom. So again, you'd be able to get a full different kind of shots depending on what you, try, what you like to shoot. Uh, you've also got a night sight, which is still there as well, which is pretty cool. What I've also got in the camera settings now as well is dual exposure modes, which means you can be able to adjust the exposure on the foreground and background as well, which is really good. It helps with backlighting issues. So if you tap this, you get a new slider that goes up and down on the settings, which is pretty cool. This will be put to test properly uh, when we start to uh, review this. Um, also, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'll be sharing pictures on there from samples and that kind of stuff. For front-facing camera, we have eight megapixels. So again, with this, uh, you'll be able to get 90 degrees field of view. It's not so much of a dual lens situation where you can get a bit wider, but it's still wide enough to get those selfies and get more people in your shots. What's also worth no noting as well is on the front-facing camera, that dual exposure, exposure mode is also available as well. So you'll be able to do it on the front-facing camera as well. One thing also worth mentioning is the night sight now, you can also capture extra exposure. So if you wanna do astrophotography, you can do so. You can also prop it onto a tripod to get longer exposure as well. And it's pretty cool uh, from the examples that they showed us on stage. I'm looking forward to actually putting that to, step, to test and see what that looks like in the real world. For video, you can do up to 4K at 30 frames per second. And then you got the other, other options like 1080p and 720p uh, video options. You've got video stabilization as well. So you'll be able to get really good steady shots 
uh, when shooting on this. We're going to be doing some camera tests as well to see how the video holds up against the competition. Another thing that Google mentioned during the launch is that new recorder function. So with this, you'll be able to record live and also uh, transcribe live as well. So as you're recording, you can go back to different areas of your recording. Again, I'll probably do a separate video just on this because I find it quite interesting and uh, it will be really useful for journalists and people who just like to dictate uh, on the go kind of thing. Going back to the camera, one more thing that I forgot to mention is that live HDR uh, camera situation now. So before, when you take a shot, then you do a post-processing and you see what you've done. But now you can actually see that live as you're doing it. So what you see on the screen when you take a photo is actually what you get. Both the Pixel 4 and the 4XL also comes with a radar technology, which will be the first in a smartphone. And with this, you've got something called motion sense, which means you'll be able to apply gestures. The phone will know before you even reach to the phone as well uh, to do things like skipping songs, answering phone calls, silencing the uh, tracks or alarms and so on. So you can see that you can skip songs by using gestures. Uh, you can swipe in any directions. Well, swipe left and right in this situation. If you were to do something like silence interruptions, you can just put you wipe, swipe over it as well and it'll stop the alarm clock, for example, from going off, which is pretty cool. And it's also useful for ambient display if you check that settings on in your phone settings and display settings. And if you're wondering about what you actually get in the box as well, so you get your SIM ejector tool in there with some manuals, you got your USB-C cable there with the adapter for transfers, and you got your charging block in here as well. Let's just take that out actually. So this is a USB-C uh, charging block that comes with it. And because I'm in the UK, you get the three pin UK version in the box. And that applies to both the Excel and the standard version. So that's it for the Google Pixel 4 and the 4XL, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Any questions, any tests, anything you want to see in the final review or questions you might have, drop them in the comments below. And most importantly, would you be picking one up? And if not, tell us why. And if so, tell us why as well in the comments below. Every other information that you might need will be in the description area. But in the meantime, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're one of the first people to know whenever there's a video on this channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.